In this lesson, we're going to multiply negative square roots as well as divide them. Let's begin with multiplying negative square roots. Okay, so before we begin multiplying negative uh, square roots, uh, I want you to remember that the square root of uh, negative one equals i. And then there's a new one I want you to remember that rule is that i squared equals negative one. So every time you see i squared, you're gonna replace it with negative one. Where does that rule come from? Well, if you think about it, uh, for example, the square root of 25 is five. And if you square that and do the very opposite of square root, five squared, it does equal 25. The same with the i. i the square root of negative uh, one equals i. If we square i, it does equal one. So again, every time you see i squared, you should know that it equals negative one by definition. So let's go ahead and begin multiplying uh, these uh, uh, negative radicals. So uh, you need to think of them as imaginary numbers as they are uh, because they're going to produce imaginary numbers, not real numbers. So don't go negative 64 divided by negative 9, a negative and a negative, and think of it as being the positive of that number. No. Uh, what you need to do is evaluate each of them individually. So the square root of negative 64, we've seen from a previous problem, that's going to equal 8i. Uh, the square root of 9 is going to equal 3i. Multiplying these imaginary numbers, 8i times 3i, multiply the coefficients, 8 times 3 is 24, I have 2i's. By definition, every time you see i squared, you're going to replace it with negative 1. 24 times negative 1 equals negative 24. So you can see here that it equals uh, negative 24. Um, had you done this another way, for example, if you had multiplied a negative and a negative at the beginning, negative 64 and negative 9, and said, okay, that equals positive 76, and found the square root of positive 76, it would have given you 24, but it would have given you the positive of 24. So be careful with that. When you have negative roots, you have to think of them as uh, imaginary numbers. In other words, they are producing imaginary numbers and not uh, real numbers. So that's why we wind up here with a negative 24 and not a positive 24. So again, we're going to go ahead and proceed with multiplying these uh, imaginary or negative uh, square roots. So we should know that uh, from a previous problem, the square root of negative 3 is i radical 3. Uh, and then we have uh, times uh, radical 11. So in multiplying these, multiplying the outside with the outside will just give you i. Multiplying the inside with the inside will give you 33. So the answer equals i radical 33. Let's move on to dividing negative roots. So we're going to um, begin with the first example here. We have um, the square root of negative 20 divided by 5. So what you want to do is first simplify uh, the division under the radical symbol. So negative 20 divided by 5 equals negative 4. And you should know by now then uh, the square root of negative 4 is going to give you uh, the 2i. For the next example, uh, let's simplify um, 
the fraction under the radical symbol first, negative 40 divided by negative 10 is going to equal positive 4, and the square root of 4 equals 2.